Hi. Happy Saturday. I've had a really um, painful week. I've had a really bad toothache, a wisdom tooth, and it's gone all the way up my cheekbone, earache, jawache, just a constant throb. And I've done nothing about it. I did try and get in at the dentist, but there's no room at the inn. I've got to re-register or and then wait two weeks for an appointment or go private. Um, so I'm just waiting for a bit to see if it goes on its own. <laughs> I'm quite stoic and um, it could be an ascension symptom, couldn't it? Or it could just be any it could be anything. But um, I did notice that when I was really really in a lot of pain the other night um, it was almost like being in labour, that's how bad it was. And I had to get myself into like a meditative state like I had done when I was in labour just to um, to not collapse and um, sort of need to ask for help, I think. And it was really strange, this state I got myself into. And um, I remember getting into this state as a kid as well. Um, and I had my hands on my body like this, but um, I could feel matter, as crazy as that sounds, like, um, do you ever do this thing when you were a kid and you start to feel the energy in your hand and then you get, and it's like a real ball, and I was like, oh yeah, it's actually, it's a ball. Well, it was like that, but this matter that was in my hands between, even though my hands were here, it was like, as if my hands were here, and there was big, thick matter between me, like heavy plasticine or Play-Doh or something. And it was, I can't, it, it sounds crazy this, because unless you've experienced this feel of energy or matter, you won't know what I'm talking about anyway, but um, it was there and I'd not felt that since a kid. So that was weird. I was like, oh God, I remember this. What's all this about? You know, I didn't know if it was, so I was sort of, I wasn't moving, but, you know, in my mind I was moving it around and I was trying to get it off me and, you know, push it a bit. But it was comforting at the same time. It was strange, but strange to feel, you know, almost physical matter um, on top of me. Very, very weird. But it was correlating with the um, amount of pain that I was in. So who Chuffy knows? I've got some time away now from the kids. Thank God, thank you, thank you. Because I've really needed it. Oh, it's hurting now. And um, I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. I've put this cheesy crap music on while I was cleaning just to remind myself of the easier days, I guess, when I was a kid in Ibiza nothing to worry about apart from how shit my little tits looked in a bikini. Um, yeah, so my dreams have been extra crazy this week as well. I've felt real ups and downs energetically and um, what's quite annoying now is that this over analytical brain of mine which never fucking shuts up or switches off is at it in the dream state as well so I've always had lucid dreams and I've always been aware that I was dreaming and that I was in a dream and I could pull myself in and out of it. Things got tricky and I had control to a certain degree. Well now, I'm aware I'm in a dream but I'm also aware that it could be a potential different timeline or dimension or um, you know, a simultaneous reality, of another universe from a multiverse or any other of these theories that pass through my mind. So while I'm in the dream now, it's way more complicated to go with the flow and to bring back what I'm being told in my dreams. Like, I was uh, being told the other day in my dreams about some words and why the words were the way they were and what it did to the human subconscious. Like, um, and the only one I can remember was C-O-N con and I was being told why con is at the start of some words you know convict concave 
conspiracy and I was in my dream I was like oh yes of course of course of course it makes sense so now it's I've forgotten so it doesn't even matter but yeah I was being told has been sort of um, walked through some things and I can't remember any of them just fucking annoying but anyway and um, <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. There's probably a lot I need to talk about because I've not spoken to an adult for, um, apart from when the kid's dad came to pick him up and I said, hi, you know, and how are you? And we had a little chat and whatnot, but I've not spoken to another adult for a week, apart from just a, you know, small talk with the school mums. But um, not that I'm talking to another adult now, but at least I'm talking to myself. I've not spoken out loud. I've not got the thoughts off my mind, so... I'm going to have a little chill out now. I've been watching the clouds and they're bizarre today. And um, I try and coagulate my thoughts and um, I'll do a little video later. So, happy Saturday.